Every time I go on the awards website, I will see these amazing websites with silky smooth UI effects and design that makes my eyes ball on how nice it is. Well, definitely not the ones that literally destroys my eyes with behemoth colossal topography or colors that just makes you blind like you're staring at the sunlight. But yeah, on one normal sunny day of endlessly browsing awards websites, I thought to myself, it's about time to create one. But first, let's find some inspiration, shall we? To guide a meaningful, inspirational search, I first to clearly define what kind of tone and style I want my website to be, which would be minimalistic and modern. Then I went on to find inspiration in creating a mood board for my website. And what is a mood board, you may ask? Well, I'll try my best to explain what a mood board is under five seconds. It's basically a visual collage of inspiration. All right, a word's a rabbit hole time. So I spent around an hour or two compiling the website elements, sections, and design from awards that I really like and then compile it into my mood board. And here's the final result. Nice. Now I've got a foundation to really get my hands dirty. Moving on to... I think this is one of the most important process when designing a website, having an appropriate color palette. Since I wanted a minimalistic and a modern website, I didn't want any of these colors. So I went for a monochromatic and a neutral palette that gives off the sense of simplicity, minimalism, and modernity. Now when choosing a color palette, I want those colors to represent my identity and the intended style that I'm going for. So how do I do this? Well. Hear me out, I choose my colors based on the clothes I wear, I mean the colors of my clothes that I wear. I mean, just look at the colors that I wear. Black, black, more black, beige, beige, green, more black, more beige, black, and orange. But you get the idea. Now I've got my colors, I move on to choosing my typeface. I went for the General Sans typeface, which is a minimalistic and bold Sans type font for my headings and display text. Then for the body text, I paired it with Cabinet Grotesque, which is also a Sans font, and I thought it would look great as a body text. If you guys are also looking for these kind of fonts, Font Share and Uncut has some great free fonts. To ensure font sizing consistency, I used Typescale, which is a font sizing calculator, which is pretty neat to get started on typography sizing systems. Since typography is all set and ready to go, let's design some logos. Wait, what the heck is this? Alright, anyways, so for my website logo, let's just write my name and grab one of these SVG. Thanks JP for these amazing SVGs. Nice. Now let's create a general logo I can use. Create a square, get one of my brand colors, slap it in there. Use this SVG again and just put these initials of my last name and boom. Logo done. Man, that was a lot of effort. Let's take a break. Just kidding, we're just getting started. So for my website, I just want a simple one page portfolio for now with several essential sections. I started off with wireframing to establish the user flow and layouts, and I personally love sketching on the wireframes on paper. It really helps get my creative ideas flowing out without having to play around with technology. Once the wireframe was done, I proceeded to Figma to start designing the mid-fidelity and the high-fidelity versions. But before designing the mid-fidelity version, I made sure to set up a simple design system, that being the grid system on different devices, typography sizing, and colors on Figma to make sure that the design is consistent and coherent throughout. And this step makes it really easy to line things up and speed up the design process. Once that's all set, I started designing the mid-fidelity version on desktop and mobile screens to visualize the layouts, colors, typography, and the overall feel of how the design would look like in the end. This step is where the ideas and the final concept come into fruition. After that, all that's left is the high fidelity version. When designing the high fidelity versions, I always reference my mood board and reference websites back and forth to make sure I achieve the style that I want. This stage took a lot of iterations and tweaks to the design, layouts, and even copywriting to make the website look more minimalistic, professional, but also more personal as well. 
Now moving on to the development process, I went for React for my front-end framework, Tailwind CSS for my styling, GSAP for animations, and Lenis smooth scrolling. And to be honest, I thought using React was a bit too overkill for a portfolio after all these searches on Reddit and Stack Overflow, but I realized nothing is overkill when you're learning. Developing this site took me around less than two weeks, and since I wanted to learn GSAP, I kind of brute forced myself through it, and most of the time was just figuring out how React works with GSAP, and learning GSAP and iterating animations until I am satisfied with it. You can probably tell how much I iterate from my endless commits, and probably 50 commits are just for one animation. Um, yeah. And also it took me a lot of Google searches as well to teach myself and find different solutions to solve unfamiliar concepts and syntax. But yeah, I'll be definitely coming back to this project to make more changes, such as adding routes for case studies of each of my projects, adding a work process section, or just even refactoring code in the project itself. But anyways, here's the final result. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of this video and if you've enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the magic sub button and another thing I want to address is thank you so much for almost 500 subscribers and especially for those who've been engaging with my content it's been really amazing and it really helps me to create more con amazing content for you guys and if you have any ideas or suggestions make sure to leave your comments down below in any of my videos or just reach me out via email i'll be replying to you super fast yeah that's about it till next time